Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and today we're taking a look at Rock, the early access game where you kind of get to survive on Mars and will most likely not survive at all. Anyway, I actually just wanted to take a look at this because this is one of two games that let you have such a unique uh, simulation, the other being take on Mars, and so let's find out if this is worth your time. Welcome to What The Math. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, this is super early access, as in like, there is really not that much to do. Also, there's a lot of bugs. Uh, I was not able to create a local server, for example, it wouldn't let me. So I'm gonna go and join one of the relatively laggy public servers. Um, and there's also quite a lot of mini crashes once in a while. Uh, some of them are actually my fault, but a lot of them are not my fault. So I'm gonna go and jump into a server that has I guess this one has the least ping, but I, this is the one where I already have a character. Um, let's jump into here. There's, it, also, there seems to be a player there. I wonder if this is someone else. So when you join the game, you, you get to choose between these 10 areas. The other ones are not unlocked yet. And each of them has different uh, environment, different locations, and also different resources, but not by much. As a matter of fact, most of Mars looks like this. This is, this is really what you'll be looking at for the most part of your stay here. Now, this is a kind, of, kind of what sold me on the game. It actually looked really realistic, and I personally kind of enjoyed that a lot. Uh, so I'm going to kind of run through this for a little bit and show you what this game has and really for the most part where it doesn't have. And we're going to start by showing you what you'll be doing a lot. This is mining. Now, one problem with mining is that uh, you'll see it in a second. I'm going to just finish this. The tools in this game basically get destroyed way too fast. As a matter of fact, I barely even use this pickaxe at all and um, I built it like a few minutes ago. And it's already done. Look at that. It's done. It doesn't do anything else. I, I need to repair it. So that's a little bit concerning. All of the tools here are ridiculously fragile. I don't know why. It was a, some sort of a design decision on the part of the team. I do not like the decision at all. Um, second thing you'll be doing here is looking for these things right, like that look like this. These are your loot boxes, I guess. Here you can collect um, random resources that are usually generated uh, pretty frequently. They also respawn quite a lot. So you can always collect stuff that way. Um, you'll notice in the, in the bottom right part of the screen, there's like system status. I have oxygen, I have food, water, electricity, and radiation. So I have to take care of those or I basically die. That's kind of the main purpose of this game. To take care of some of those things, you kind of just open your inventory. Actually, that's not the right button. Ooh, I did not, I forgot about this button. We have battery here. This needs to be recharged. We also have uh, radiation levels, which are quite realistic, actually, because Mars is a radioactive place. Uh, pressure, zero atmospheres, and body temperature and suit temperature. Uh, actually, you can also check out your suit stuff here. As a matter of fact, you can even, I believe, turn this off. Can you? Oh, yeah, you can set the temperature up and down if you wanted to. This does uh, change certain things in your... Uh, in your suit here. So, for example, this will increase my hunger and thirst because I'm colder now. And then there's the map here. Uh, most of these are still locked, though, I believe. Although you can technically just walk down here. I haven't been that far. I know I've been here, but I haven't really... I don't know if these are unlocked. They weren't um, available when you start the game, started the game. These are still um, not available. Uh, the, the level here is very, very, very large, though. So that's kind of cool. Um, now, what I was going to show you is this. So here, I'm going to recharge my oxygen. I'm going to have some mangoes. I'm going to have some mangoes. There we go. I totally just deleted my mango, didn't I? I did not want to do that. I wanted to eat my mangoes. I thought you can do it from here. Do I have to place it here all the time? Oh, that's annoying. I just totally destroyed some of my food. All right, so that was my mistake. That's another concern with the design. You basically destroy your tools when you throw them on your face. And we can also possibly have some water as well. Unfortunately, we'll have to do the same here. There we go. Uh, radiation levels can be decreased using... Um, I thought I have it. 
oh, red shield, right? Potassium iodide, there we go. Uh, so iodide peels, that will decrease my radiation a little bit. So for the most part, that's kind of it. So the pills I just took, they, they will protect me from radiation a little bit, but you can still kind of die from all of this stuff. Uh, most of the construction in this game is right now very, very bare bones. I was not really able to build anything yet, but I do have some of the tiles you can use for building. Um, I am still kind of not sure about where to put these though. Like, I know they go somewhere, like I can place one here, but I don't understand why I couldn't place one right here. Like, why is it there and not here? I'm, I'm just, yeah, I'm confused. Uh, so there's no real reasoning behind this, but yeah, the building in this game is also very, very bare bones right now. Uh, there is a lot of constructioning and building items, but not a lot of items. Most of these items are used for uh, like repair and building other items. Um, and so here, if I click on screwdriver, I can build any of these five things. So like emergency hammer, range, crowbar, assembly tool. And if I build the assembly tool, which I already have, I will then be able to build even more stuff, including things like doors, storage chests, windows, and so on. Now, there's very, very little in terms of actual visual um, building materials yet. I think you can only really build stuff that looks like this. And even windows will look like this, uh, but they'll be obviously transparent. So very, very, very simple as of now. And by the way, I might as well use my flashlight because it, it did get very dark here. So let's go check out this uh, this area right here. Um, I've already been there before. It's not really, it does look exciting, but it's not really as exciting as it looks for the most part. Oh, the beeping here, it's, it's actually the chest I'm about to pick up. For the most part, it's kind of um, really all there is to this, uh, to this um, game. It's these abandoned buildings that unfortunately you can't really go into. And that really is the worst part about this so far. I really wish I could go inside of these or it, like there was something to investigate or explore or like, you know, collect inside. Like, why can't I just go in here? Why, why can't you let me in there? I want to go in. Oh, and this is the other cool part about this game. The asteroids. Yeah, this is actually what got me into the game to begin with. These asteroids, um, um, I guess you can call them attacks, happen quite frequently and they can totally kill you in one hit. Um, I haven't really seen any other damage done by these. I, I don't think they actually, it can actually destroy these buildings. As a matter of fact, I don't think these buildings are even uh, modifiable. I think they're actually static models. But for the most part, uh, the th this event right here is pretty epic. Like, you know, where else would you see such a tremendously crazy asteroid um, strike? On a, uh, on a single location. Anyway, so that, that really is exciting. Um, so this particular area does have this one part here, which is right here. Now, I don't really know what, I still couldn't figure this out. I don't know what this is for. You can use it and it kind of starts communicating with you, but then it just gets stuck in the loop. And I don't know if I'm doing something wrong with this, but it says it's a nice wine and it's an AI of some kind, but it never opened for me. It never really did anything for me. It says ident identifying device, identifying device. I think I don't, just don't have the device to open this. And maybe you can open these doors, but I just don't have the item for it yet. And if so, then that's really cool, but I doubt it. This machine is the only useful part here. This is, uh, it charges you ele er electricity. So you can see that now my electrical charges at 100%. And um, this is the reason why I usually come back to this area just to kind of replenish some of my stuff and also collect some of these things as well. There's some oxygen for us. Um, now, what I really would love to have in this game is just more interactability. I, I really want th these things to be interactive. Like, why can't I just destroy this? Like, I don't wanna, oh, hi. I don't wanna go through these like static objects. I wanna actually interact with stuff. Oh, and this is just a message saying that there was a sabotage and someone destroyed the water things. I didn't actually know there was a body here. This guy met his faith with a chair and is no longer with us. I don't really know what happened there. Um, now, there might be actually some kind of a hidden storyline here. I was not able to find it yet. As a matter of fact, I don't think as of now there is any story. Oh, wow, it hit me pretty close here. I don't think it destroyed anything, though. Uh, but I really kind of 
wish they they did something with this game. It's such a cool concept. Like this is a really awesome concept. It just needs more dynamic parts, more stuff going on, more intrigue. And also more direction, because when you start the game, you're pretty much given nothing. Like, tutorials pop up once in a while, telling you how to do things, but, you know, having these micro-missions here would be really cool. Because I don't know what I'm, what I'm supposed to do here. What, am I supposed to just explore and find out who killed what, or, or what? By the way, one of the moons of Mars is right there. Now, that is a little bit larger than it should be, though. I believe this might be Deimos, but way, way larger than it should be. It's a lot smaller in real life. Um, so, for the most part, that's pretty much it. That's kind of what Rock is all about. Um, I'm sure there's more stuff I haven't seen and haven't discovered. There's probably a lot more um, events and a lot more really cool interactive things that I'll probably find later on. But in the first half an hour or so of running around, uh, you won't really find anything else. Except, of course, that... Did you know that there is a... Jetpack here. Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a jetpack. That's that's also kind of cool. Uh, but other than the jetpack and other than the fact that there's asteroids once in a while, I kind of am a little bit disappointed with this. Not to the point where I'm going to refund it or anything. I'm actually going to wait for the developers to come up with something cooler. But my biggest disappointment with this is the fact that you just can't interact with anything like i just want to take my crowbar and hit this and then you know collect it and recycle it and build something out of it i want to build my own antenna out of their antenna i want to do all these things but the game won't let me anyway so that's rock in a nutshell do give it a try if you would like to support the development of this game but other than that i don't think i would recommend this unless it's on super high sale and or unless a lot more things are added here um, in the last few hours of playing this, I think I saw one other person online. Now, that doesn't mean I saw them in person. I know that they were on the same server. And because I don't really know how to check their name, I don't really know how to communicate with them. So there's that as well. In other words, this is maybe not a game that is going to be very active anytime soon. Rock, I really hope uh, you improve a little bit because I would love to play this more. But for now, I'm going to quit this and maybe go play Take on Mars instead. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Space out. And as always, bye-bye.